Hello viewers, welcome to EQ International Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. Today we have Mr. Tanmay from Exitec. A very warm welcome to EQ sir. Thank you very much. Sir, can you please enlighten us about the company? Okay, uh, can I hold this mic here? Yeah. Alright, thank you. So Exitec is a German company. Uh, it's a, it's in fact Europe's number one solar module brand. And uh, Exitec India is a 100% owned subsidiary of Exitec Germany. And uh, we've been here in the Indian market for the last five, six years now. The basic idea is that, uh, you know, India is a very cost competitive market, you know, and uh, uh, unfortunately, as a consequence of that, uh, quality takes a backseat at certain points of time. So for us, the idea is that uh, because of our European background and our German standards, we're able to push for better quality modules, solar modules in the Indian market. And we found a certain segment of customers in India who appreciate that uh, you know value of quality, and uh, they and we have a lot of repeat customers who vouch for you know Exitec products. So this is the story for us in India. That's great, sir. So can you please enlighten me about the product launch? What you're doing to Intersolar? So it's not exactly a product launch. The big news for us right now is that we are uh, about to start production for our Chennai factory. We are we are putting up a production plant in Chennai as a part of uh, you know uh, you know supporting the government initiative of Make in India, Make in India, and uh, for the rest of the world that is the idea. But as of now, we are launching the 580 watt peak uh, Topcon modules, which are top of the line commercially available solar modules right now, and they are very stable and uh, uh, in terms of uh, efficiency, they are one of the highest in the industry right now. Yeah. That's really great. So definitely the upcoming policies which is coming from the side of government. So what is your view on the same? It's a, it's a good question actually. Uh, uh, so the problem is there is a lack of uh, you know policy consistency, especially with the ALMM. And uh, uh, we had a notification, and then suddenly the you know there was a it was put on hold within a few days. So that. Uh, unfortunately creates a lot of complications for people who are interested in solar or they are already in the solar field uh, but i for us uh, in axitic uh, we are quite, quite flexible that way because we have a production facility in um, in our asian neighbor neighboring country i don't want to name that yeah name that country we also have a, uh, we are also producing in india so in a way we are able to cater to our customers irrespective of what comes in terms of policy uh, but yes, I would request you know the policy makers uh, and the decision makers to you know if they are coming out with a notification you know let's just stick with it so that everybody knows what's a, what's the pros and cons of it and they are able to make their decisions based on what the government is giving them you know. Yeah. Uh, I totally agree with you, sir. No doubt, and I literally appreciate your time. Thank you so much for the time and really a lot of lots success from the side of EQ to Exit. Thank you.